Hey, sneaky notes back tonight. Tonight we've got Element 1.1. Based on Zubuntu 9.10, it's a media player. So basically for plugging in your TV. So I'll go across the bar to start with. Firefox files. XBMC, I can't show you because I actually can't record it when it opens. But it works perfectly. Super duper. I've got an NVIDIA card in here, so that should room away. Close. Volume. I can show Windows. It's just your menu basically, a trash bin, and log out. Oh, super, super, super. Now you see all the icons are really, really big because it's supposed to be shown on TV. So we'll go to our browser first, and as you can see, plenty here. You've got Gmail, images, maps, videos, all Google stuff, news. Connect to your Twitter, Live FM, Facebook, YouTube, and your dig accounts. So we'll just click on video. Now, as you can see, this is just the basic web browser, really. There's nothing super duper and, you know, different about it. But hey, it's cool, it's all there, and it works. This one I haven't broke. It's the third time I've tried it, and this time I've got it to work properly, all down to my drivers, more than anything else, for the video card. So we scroll down, look. YouTube comes up perfectly. It's nice. And you probably play nice on your widescreen TV. I actually haven't tried it on my script TV yet, because I can't find a cable to fit. Now, for your audio player, you've got Decibel. Now, I'm still playing with this, so I've got no music in it at the moment, but I'll work on that because I'm going to keep this on this machine and give it a go in the living room. More apps, or oh, by the way, VLC is your media player, well, your video player. So, oh, as you can see, it's all Zubuntu, really, with lots of added extras, as we can see. So, the accessories, the app finder, password encryption terminal, task manager, the basic games that come with it to start with, only GTK fun. I'm not happy with them. DTK record my desktop so you can watch this. V E O H and YouTube.com XL. Now, this means once I click on execute that you get a super big YouTube. Look at that, super duper. So, if you have this on your TV, it'll look really good. So, I'm going to, have to get this cable and do it really as I'm only watching it on my monitor on my pooter at the moment. So, I'll go over to my eye near and we'll boot one up basically. So, we'll go to that one. Or Remaster, your own pup. Plays okay, you can play it in HD, full screen. I haven't done that yet, but you can do it. It's not. It's a 600 meg download, I think, but the installation only took about 10 minutes, so it was pretty good, really. I was quite happy with that one. You can just go to it, whatever one you want to watch, and go in widescreen, full screen, whatever screen you want, basically. So, that's that. Look, plenty there. So, I'll go to my favourites, and I'll show you a problem I have. So I click on that one. I think it's a new hybrid power pad, and it comes with Sterling Engine video. So something not right there either with Element, but I think it's more YouTube XL a problem. But I'm sure they'll get over that one. But same again, you can watch in HQ or high quality. Super, come out of that. Where should we go to next? We'll go down to more apps, which is the same as your menu really. There's no difference. VEOH.com TV, another online video service. It's similar to YouTube, but there's loads out there now, there's millions and millions. YouTube's the most popular, but there's lots and lots of others, so you can go and have a look if you wanted to. We're just going to go to Howcraft, all about technology, not just computers, but all different things. So I'm just giving you a look around, really, of what it can do. So if you can be bothered to download it and give it a go. So what we'll do, understand the basic Linux. Okay. And as you can see on this one, it comes up widescreen straight away. So if you're playing this on your TV, it's big anyway, and you can make it full screen. Even better. So anyway, no audio, for various reasons as you know, but we won't go into that. But yeah, plays, works lovely. Bear in mind I've got a really slow internet connection here, so I'm not going to get really, really fast capture rates. So I ain't really worried too much. I'm actually only capturing at 18 frames a second, just to keep the video smaller, so that's one of the reasons why. If you click on this go back to the EOH, you just go back to their web page. Now it's a bit of a bummer, really. So we'll look around, there's plenty there to watch, there's movies and everything else. So what we'll do, I think we'll go to Avril Lavigne. Here we are, and you can watch some of them videos, movies, whatever you want to call them. Or the latest part of As in Wonderland movie, etc. We'll just click one. Now because of the connection, it takes its while coming up. But basically you're watching a YouTube page or any other page on the net that does videos. So no different. So you have to watch it in their own thing really. Otherwise it doesn't really work very well. Ah, that was the end of one. Anyway, where else can I? Next.
extras and add-ons for Element. So we're going to see what this is all about. Here we go, loads up. Now in some countries you have to add these things on their own, but as I'm in the UK I don't. Now Boxy I have downloaded but not installed. Now Boxy a lot of you all know, and Hulu in the US you all know about. These can all be installed on Element 1.1. Very good. And you can even use your remote control. There's a download data. Superb. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's that one. Now I'm not going to show you too much more. For simple reason I'm going to use it a bit more. And see what happens. I'll use it on the TV and give you a bit more of a rundown. So that'll be about in four weeks' time, I suppose. There's quite a few. All my apps software center. Now this is a website where you can download stuff for your particular distribution. Works for Linux and Windows as well, as far as I'm aware. As you can see, no Mac. Hmm. You should be able to do Mac though, should it? But maybe Mac don't want you to do it, because Mac's Mac. End of the day though, if you want a media center, this could be the one for you. Give it a go, large download, but it comes out good in the end. Nice, sneaky Linux out.